All right, boys, what's up? It's your boy No Cloud Noah back at it again with another Resident Evil Rebirth gameplay. And I guess I'll do some live commentary. Obviously, I've been doing them in Spanish, but I'll do some while also breaking down how and why I make these plays. So obviously, there's a enemy over here shooting their weapon. Have really long range with the shotgun. That's why I went for that shot. That's just that little lag advantage right there. But yeah, go for a long shot with the shotgun if you can. Uh, it's really uh, advantageous. Okay. Well, right there, I just went up close and personal because it's Leon with a shoddy. Um, okay. Sometimes this game just confuses me, I'm not gonna lie. Keep your distance from the Hunter Gamma. Is he coming this way? No, he's not. If you hear him going away, try to pistol whip them or use any long range weapon that you have in your arsenal. I'm gonna focus this. Get that free kill. The main reason I focus on these, uh, on that enemy, over um, over the human enemy, even though, oh shit! One second. The main reason I focus on the creature enemy over the human enemy is because these players aren't necessarily the greatest, so it's like a little bit easier to get away with little uh, cheeky plays like that. If you know the players that you're going up against aren't that great, do everything you can to just focus on stuff that isn't going to uh, help you all that much in getting like Heiko gameplay. And what I mean by that is finish off the creature enemies that are super tanky, keep your distance sometimes when you have to keep distance, and overall just make super proactive plays to keep everything in your favor. Right now I don't really hear much. There's a person on the left hand side right here, it's the Claire. Going for the trip. Went for the Chris right there because I kind of figured he would have a power weapon since I haven't seen any and they spawn over here. Just like make a little prediction plays like that. Right here, gonna go for the Nemesis if I can. There's a Logo right here, so I might eliminate him first. Okay. Am I dead here? No, I'm not. Little slow plays like that kind of dictate the match. So right there, I kind of baited him. I was pretending that I didn't know how to roll after I got out of that spun. And I got him to do a mistake, which was just come close counter, and I managed to get out of there. Little headshot, something simple. Just uh, make sure you use your audio cues really well. They can play like super advantageous. Ooh. Not today, Chris. Power weapon spawned in. I already have one in my arsenal. If you're going left, you're going right. A little bit of a distance here. A little melee attack right here. See, stuff like that. Just make sure to try to read your enemy as much as possible. It's really a game of chess if you think about it. I know it sounds nerdy as hell saying that, but that's really what it comes down to. Obviously, like I said, these players aren't necessarily the best, but I'm just giving you a general breakdown of how I play every single situation. <laughs> Get him. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, Chris is on that side. Damn, that hit me. It's not gonna get me, right? No, too far away. But yeah, try to read your enemy and see what kind of mistakes they make. If they get overzealous, counterattack on that and just be um, super proactive. Like I said, learn where the spawn weapons, uh, the power weapons are at, where they spawn at. Try to make an educated guess on where your enemy spawn, and you'll maximize a good amount of kills and just play to your strengths. I'll be honest right there, how many of you would have uh, kept shooting that creature enemy over getting that Crisco? Like, a lot of you, right? It's just little stuff like that, boys, is what separates me from, like, just players who are casual and shit. A little thousand points, I love that for me. 
Can I make it more? Yes, sir, I can. Fuck yeah, let's get it. That was a really good gameplay. Um, I know I tried to explain as best as I could, but I kind of got in the moment. I kind of I have to get better at that. Like I said, this was a walk in the park. I mean, 27 and 0. It's just a master class. These players were new, and I just gave them the worst experience of all time. They're probably just here to get achievements, and I just ruined their whole fucking night. <laughs> it's hilarious, but it is what it is. Like, nothing easy is going to come in life, boys. So, if y'all are one of those little shit stains who complain in the fucking Steam discussions and on Xbox that you're trying to get these trophies, but they're sweaty players like me and everyone else still playing the game, get a fucking grip. Like, you are a, a nerd. Like, you're a fucking creature. Like, y'all cannot get shit for free. That's not how life works, and it'll never work that way. <laughs> but with that said, boys, um, I'm going to get better at doing the commentary and trying to talk more and break down plays in the moment while I'm also fighting and stuff. But if I get off track, it's because it's heat of the moment. But you guys can see the play style. Y'all see how I play? Just mimic it or improve it upon it. It's like a blueprint to help you guys get better. That's what these videos are made for. These specific videos that I'm going to create on the channel. Anyways, boys, hopefully you have a good one and you'll enjoy this video. And if you do, please leave a like, comment down below what you think, as well as subscribe for daily reverse content and maybe in the foreseeable future some new kind of content. Like I said, I'm still working on a roadmap. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly, but I'm going to do something. All right, boys. Later.